This video shows how to fit the Hentronics door mechanism and controller to an up and down sliding door. Make sure the existing door moves freely up and down and you can remove any catches or locks from your existing door. With this type of door you need 50 centimeters above the door to attach the mechanism. With the door in the closed position Mark two points in the middle of the door with a pencil. Draw a line between the two points on the door and extend the line for 50 centimetres above the door opening. A spirit level can be helpful if your hen house is on level ground. Take the mechanism and position it along the pencil mark as shown aligning to the notches in the base plate of the mechanism. To ensure full opening of the door, you should position the bottom edge of the base plate 4 cm or about 1.5 inches above the top of the door opening. Hold the base plate in position and insert two 20mm screws. Be careful not to over tighten the screws and distort the base plate. Next, an off cut of timber 8.5 inches or 22 centimetres long will help to keep the door open whilst you mark the position of the door footing. The split pin can then be removed and the door footing can be secured to the marked positions with the 12mm screws provided. The door can then be raised and the split pin reinserted. Next, the control unit can be positioned anywhere within the 2 meter cable reach of the mechanism. The control unit is fixed in position using a mounting plate. Use two 20mm screws to fix the mounting plate in position and again don't over tighten them. The control unit is pushed into position onto the lugs on the mounting plate. Tidy up any cables with the cable clips provided. Using the 30mm screws with washers carefully fix the solar panel to your chosen position. Identify the battery connectors and attach the spade connectors to your battery. Please remember that we do not supply the battery. Remove the protective cover from the solar panel connector and connect the solar panel to the cable. Connect the battery connectors together Put the battery and the connectors into the dry box and position the cables near one of the exit ports and close the lid on the dry box. 10 seconds after connecting the battery, the door will start to close. Once the door is closed, it will stay closed for about a minute and then, assuming that daylight is present, it will open again. For more information, please visit our website at hentronics.co.uk.